In 1866, the United States adopted the system of international or international system called the metric system. That is what is on this side of the ruler up here. So let's put the metric, metric system. But as you know, if you live in the United States, we still use the U.S. customary system. So now the difference is in the U.S. customary system, we have 12 units, okay, 12 units on a ruler um, compared to the metric system, which has 30 units, and depending on the ruler, um, 5 millimeters. We'll get in that in a second. So we look at this, and each of these numbers on the U.S. customary ruler is an inch. So there's one inch right there, one increment. So there are 12 inches in a ruler. So we've got one inch right here, and we can signify this by this two dashes there, one inch. So now we look at the ruler, there's a lot of little notches. So there is a half mark right here. We call this one half and an inch. And then we can, I'm going to skip over here. If I go from here to here, there's another mark. This is one quarter of an inch. And we look at this, we can remember that it's a quarter because there's one, two, three, four marks there. The half, there is only one, two out of two. There's one mark in the middle. So now we're going to go to the next one. This mark right here, there is, we call one eighth. You can see my eighth there. So we have one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four, five, six, seven, eight eighths. Okay. So then we can bring that down even one more. We can cut that in half, and we're going to have one sixteenth. So we have one sixteenth, two sixteenths, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight sixteenths right there, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen sixteenths right there. And we know that if we divide any number by itself, it equals 1. So 16 parts out of 16 equals 1 whole. So that's how we have the ruler set up on this. Now some rulers will actually have one more mark at 32 and then if you have engineering rulers you might have 64 and, and so on. You might get down even further. So now just to take a little practice here, if we took and we had a line that was this long we would say that it's one inch long, so that's one inch. Now if we took a measurement, let's go for an easy one from right here, and we went short of an inch, and we hit this mark right here, we start off at eight, and we went one quarter, two quarter, three quarter, so this one will be three quarters of an inch. Now a little bit tougher, let's say Sometimes you're measuring a board or something, and you measure all the way up to the very last one there. And this one right here. All I would say is that that one, I can either go backwards, which would be the easiest, or I can count all these digits right here, and I would come up with 15 sixteenths of an inch. So that's almost an inch, but not quite. So, and then you can do any of these increments the same way. So now if you come up to the metric system, it's a little bit easier, actually a lot easier. We have, on this ruler, it's measuring millimeters is what it has it labeled as. Now that might be a little deceiving because the millimeters are actually these little tiny marks right in here. There are 10. And the metric system, as you know, is based on 10. So there are 10 millimeters. Get my end there. 10 millimeters in there makes one centimeter. So if I went right here, one centimeter. So now these are one, two, three, four, all the way to 30 centimeters here. If I were to take a mark, let's say from three, let's go from three right here, and I went to, let's say, 
halfway between four and five, I would have one whole centimeter, so there's one, and then I'd have one, two, three, four, five parts, or point five, and if you know your decimal points, point five is a half, so that's one and a half centimeters. Now if you had something odd, like let's say you went from here, let's go a little bit further, let's go down here on 12, let's go a little bit, let's go down there. So if I have this line here, I start off at 10, and I go 1, 2, and then I go, let's put my 2 right here, 2 point something. And I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I had to have 2.7 centimeters. So really, very simple system. This one's a little bit more complicated because you have to remember what all these little dashes mean. This one, you just have to know what are the main centimeters, and then what are the little digits, or the decimal, or the millimeters. And that's basically how you use your ruler.